Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game, and we're returning to our Fridays for Future Let's Play or Fate of the World. We are going to launch the Star Arc this time, so uh, that would make us win, and I would like to win. So uh, we do need to, a little bit more funds. We currently have 1,100. So uh, in order to do that, um, I think what we should do is play the Tobin Tax in a couple of countries. Um, specifically over here in China, in Russia, so that should be fairly fine. Uh, North America, yeah, why not? Let's play that over here. And North Americans are vegetarian, so look at that. Uh, still water stress in Northern Africa, that's something that is just gonna happen every time that we are over here. Uh, in the Middle East, I guess what we can do is Tobin tax. You know what? I think I, I want to I want Tobin tax everything, so... Um, yeah, let's make sure that we are playing Tobin Tech in all of the countries. Uh, just because I think it's fun. Don't need to come into renewables anymore over here in Northern Africa. Um, sorry, in Southern, South Asia, actually. Could you expand the use of biofuels. Don't really need the market AI. Hydropower ad capacity. Yeah, you, you do have a lot of money, so... Yeah, that's all right. Japan, Turbin Tax, Latin America, Turbin Tax, Southern Africa, Turbin Tax. Um, well, you you are at one hundred percent. So you know, let's go ahead and play Turbin Tax. India, can I Turbin Tax in India? I don't think I've ever Turbin Tax in India because India is just. So slow to catch up in on a lot of these socio uh, demographic points. Yeah, funny things over here. Okay, are we playing Turbin Tax everywhere? We're not in Europe. It might be an achievement if I do play it everywhere. Yeah, looks good. Okay, very lovely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yes, okay, so Europe, um, let's get rid of the asteroid mining and launch the star, we do have more than enough money to do that, so yeah, that should be fairly nice, we also have the space factory, so could play the Mars base, I don't think it's required, we also discovered alien life last time, so yeah, this is a little bit of a fun, fun thing to do over here. And yeah, let's let's get ready and, and let's see the end screen if there is one. I don't actually know. Global 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 population is 9.6 billion. All contact lost with the aliens. If achieving first contact was a shock, the sudden seizure of the signals feels like a bereavement. Humanity had just gotten used to knowing it wasn't alone. Now the skies are quiet again. City officials say. They're doing everything possible to regain contact. It's just a flavor event, there's nothing in regards to uh, the earth warming. Three degrees, victory! Star Arc mission launches humanity into the heavens. The TZV? I'm not sure what that means. Genesis has left the Grand Deep Space Facility. Popularity popularly known as the Star Arc, this vessel carries the wishes and dreams of all of humanity with it, taking our species far beyond the solar system. We may never know if it succeeds, but hope endures. Final score, 12,000! Right, let's look at let's look at these things. So the emissions, um, yeah, the cart activity, we were we were fairly expansion, expansionist. We did play a lot of turbine taxes here just so we could fund our expansion of cards and the general economic activity just over the first 100 years allowed us to play that uh, very aggressively. I don't think there's much to be said um, in regards to that except that we were playing very aggressively in China, in Europe. India was always a very high concern for us. Um, some of the other countries, Southern Africa, we only ramped that up very gradually. China, of course, was a major concern to begin with. Middle East, we only played gradually. And Oceania, we very, very gradually expanded. A little bit more interesting, I think, um, is this over here. So the emissions. You can see China, as of today, in, in 2020 or so, um, China is one of the biggest emitters. And we 
only very, very gradually brought that down uh, because they're burning so much coal and it's very hard to get rid of that. Uh, North Africa, you can see, uh, sorry, North America, we were able to bring down the emissions. Uh, we were very aggressive over there, playing a lot of cards, uh, doing a lot of mostly reduction um, and tackling the road usage, specifically in North Africa. Um, similarly, in Europe, we were very efficient at bringing down the emissions by mostly the private sector and the commercial sector. They were, um, you know, we re were introducing a lot of new regulations and that was direly required because look at India expanding its, its carbon profile over here from just 3,000 megatons or so to 9,000 megatons uh, over the middle of the century. So that's that's basically all that Europe consumes, just the difference. And you know what, I'm, I'm always a little bit, you know, in real life, Europe's and, and North Africa, especially, especially Europe's emissions aren't that great compared to the rest of the world. Um, of course, they are very high compared to the number of people living in Europe. But if, if we are not bringing that down in Europe, then why would anyone else care? Why why would India or China be even interested in curbing its um, emissions? You can also see Southern Africa, one of the boom regions in our game and in our Let's Play over here. Latin America, fairly stable for a very long time. Yeah, but ultimately you can also see the only thing that really brought things down is new technologies. That's what we required in the end. So. And that what is what saved us. GDP, um, fairly good. We did never really suffer any big drawback. Only in the last years over here. I'm not sure what... Oh, that's probably the Tobin tax, yeah. Population, fairly stable. We did, um, we did curb Indian expansion by playing one-child policy. Everything else, though, fairly stable. HDI rankings, Human Development Index... India is still lagging behind just a little bit. This is a very good value in 2.96 and everyone else is just happy as, as is. Right, total temperature increase, 2.4 degrees. Lovely to see. So we are getting an achievement over here. Is that a cool breeze? Um, and the taxman, rupee award. So yeah, lots of achievements being unlocked over here. I think mostly for, um, yeah, look at that. People don't like us anywhere uh, due to the turbine tax. But you know what? We are fairly happy over here. So bonus because um, we've been avoiding mega deaths. Bonus because, uh, look at that. This bonus is actually 10 times as much as this. So having less people is, is not that important. Uh, we could have given anyone to 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 uh, 100 more points that would have been possible I think but you know what it's it's fine we don't need that yeah and we never lost a landmark species I very much I'm very much proud of that one as well so yeah that's very very great to see and I'm extremely happy about that because we've won anything else to see yeah still a lot of areas have changed Emissions are nearly, nearly zero though. Just look at that. Really, really wonder why. Yeah, even India is is still increasing again. Why are your emissions increasing? It's always the commercial sector and I never quite get why that is. That being said, guys, thank you very much for following this, this little let's play over here. I'm extremely happy to be playing this game. Uh, I do want to know that um, the developers are trying to rebuild um, a successor to this because obviously this game has aged a little bit as you can tell by the interface and all of that. Um, so uh, they did uh, a Kickstarter campaign that failed unfortunately but they have secured funding I think from Oxford University so it would be great to see another version of this game. Um, and yeah, for everyone who has been following, thank you very much. It's been an interesting ride. Bye bye guys.